Hey everyone, I hope you guys are ready to learn something new today. Today we are going to be looking at Google Docs and how to actually share that document. Google Docs is powerful because it allows you to share a document or a spreadsheet or a PowerPoint presentation with somebody else and it allows you to either view it, to comment on it, or to actually work on it together. But it never works if you can't get that thing shared correctly. So let's walk through the steps on doing that. So it's a four step process to make sure that that person doesn't get the locked out screen where they can't view anything. The four steps are, first you've got to create your doc, whatever it's going to be, the spreadsheet, the PowerPoint, or in our case, we're going to actually build out a Word document. Second, you've got to actually share it and to do your settings correctly, which is third. And then lastly, test that link to make sure that it's working. So again, you got four steps. You want to create, you want to share, do your settings, and then finally test it out and make sure it's working. So now that we kind of ran over what we're looking at, let's go ahead and actually take a look at the screen and see where we need to be clicking to make this happen. All right, so here we've got our adventure starting on Google. Now there's two ways that we can get to Google Docs. Since we know we're doing a Word document, you can go to docs.google.com. And that will take you to a general Docs area, you know, because up here in the right-hand corner or left-hand corner, you've got Docs. Or you can go to drive.google.com, which that in itself is going to be an entirely different video at some point. But you can see all these different ones. And if you hit new up here and you do Google Docs, that will start you out with a blank Google document. So this one we're doing an example of how to share so we can find it later if we need to. All right, obviously we need to create something on here. All right, so now we've got a document in here. I want to share it with some people to help me edit it or at least look at it. So again, create, we've already created. We have our Google Doc here. Second step is we're gonna share. So I'm gonna go up here and click share. Now third step is we've gotta do our settings. All right, we're not gonna mess with this thing up here on the top because some people have different email addresses that are associated with this and that can get confusing, especially if you want random people to look at it. So what we're gonna do is mess around with this get a link setting. And what we're gonna do is click here to change anyone with the link. Now, once you do that, you've got three options over here on the right. You can have them view it, or you can have them where they can make comments on it, but they can't directly edit your document, or you can have it where they are actually editing the document with you. So that means it's a viewer, they can look at it, a commenter, they can leave some stuff on the side for you to adjust if you want to, or editor, they can go in and make the direct changes themselves. So in this case, I want somebody to work on it with me at the same time, not just tell me comments they wanna fix it back with. So I'm gonna go ahead and make them an editor. Once that's done and you see the permissions are updated, you can go ahead and just copy this link. And that is the link that you will send out to whoever you want to edit it. You can send it via email, you can stick it in a class, whatever you want to do. All right, so at this point, we're going to go ahead and hit done because those settings are saved. But again, fourth step, we want to test it and make sure everything is working out. So up here in the right hand corner, you'll see an M. That's because I'm logged into this as me. This is important because if you stay in here, you will automatically be able to see what the document is no matter what the settings are because you own the document. So what I need to actually do is go ahead and sign out of this. And I need to go ahead now that I'm signed out, I'm gonna paste this in and I'm gonna hit enter. And if I can see the doc at this point, notice over here on sign in, I am a guest. That means it is working. Anybody that has that link will be able to see it. So boom, that's all you gotta do. Just create it, share it, see your settings, and then test it out. And you should be able to get these documents to whoever you need to to be able to get them to work so that you can go collaboratively while you build these things. So that's it. If you have any other questions or any other videos you'd like us to make or anything that would help you out, just let us know. Either leave it in the comments or contact us, and we'll be happy to make them. Thanks, guys.